KU Panthers TV 77-76. The final score is Pace comes in the Garden City and upsets the Adelphi Panthers on a buzzer beater shot from Christian White. Now joined and I have the pleasure to be joined by the head coach, David Duke. Uh, coach, on that final play, obviously uh, a lot going on. What was the game plan going in there, especially with a guy who has been red hot like Christian White in that second half? We were switching everything. You no, know, we were switching everything. We were really crowding the three-point line, and he made a really difficult shot for game. For this team overall, for you guys, I mean, to be up in, in the contest and every time they were getting close, still you take that lead right back. To, to lose the way it was for the guys, how, how do you adjust it and come back from something like that? You know, we just have to stay positive. We have to keep working hard, and we're struggling to shoot the ball right now. You know, uh, our two best shooters uh, from three, Koff was, was one for seven, and, and Manny was two for seven. So we have to stay positive. We're going to make shots. We're a very good shooting team. And I will back to work at it tomorrow. I know it's always just keep shooting, but for a three-point team, when you start to get the presence down low from somebody like Suarez, who, again, has a, a very good game, uh, you know, where do you see that front court presence? And do you think it needs to continue yeah, to keep and, going there? Yeah, and it will. Manny did a great job. We tried to get him the ball there on the last high ball screen we ran, and then they both went with Manny, and then Mike had a wide-open one when he was right there. He was the, It's called the lifter, so he gets to the lift spot. They both go with Manny. And he kicked it out, and, and, and Mike had a great look. He just wasn't able to knock it down. Now some other bright spots today. Besides Suarez, is more than 20 points. You had Austin Beach, who stepped up again. Very big coming off the bench. What have you liked from the freshman? He's doing a great job. He is such a terrific defender. You know, we would have loved to have had him on white. They did a good job with those handoffs, and that he had a switch. He had a block, I believe it was the play before. He, he's a terrific ball player. Great to have him as a freshman, and he's going to be better and better as the years go on. Well, as we start to wind down the season, of course, every game still has that big significance on it. Next up, one of the top teams, and one of the top teams expected to be at least towards the, the end of this season in Southern Connecticut State. Mike Mallory, of course, one of the best guys you're going to see all year. Uh, to get ready for that game, is it good to be able to know that you're going to have such a good competition to bounce back on the Saturday? Absolutely. You get really fired up to play a team like that. Southern Connecticut's terrific. Mike Mallory is an unbelievable player, one of the best players in the country, so the guys will be fired up for that game. Well, what's going to need to change this upcoming weekend? Well, we just have to keep working hard. You know, we have to keep them off the glass. They had nine offensive rebounds in the first half, and we had 18 turnovers on the game. We can't turn over, and, and a lot of them were unforced turnovers, and those are the ones that really hurt you. A positive attitude, some stuff to still be worked on, but Saturday it will be a good one as Southern Connecticut State comes down here to Long Island and will take on the Adelphi University Panthers. Of course, we'll have all the action on AUPanthers.tv. That's going to do it for us here this evening. Many thanks to the entire crew. As always, my broadcast partner, Dan Hilton. I'm Dan Savarino saying thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.